This is the Roulette Master, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe by hitting the red subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner. Also, ring that bell for notifications because I have new content releasing every single day of the week at 9 a.m. Today's system was sent in by one of my subscribers, Gary Bellino, and this is a good one for those of you that are trying to pick certain numbers on the wheel based on, um, basically, based on coverage, and... Um, he calls his system American Quarter Slice, and if you noticed, I'm using American today, even though I know most of you use European because you play online, but this today's system is for those of you that play American and has a lot to do with uh, wheel coverage. And Gary says it's, it's supposed to cover every fourth pocket on an American roulette wheel. Regardless of what section the ball may be favoring, you have a one in four chance of winning. <coughs> Here are the system details. You start by placing one unit on the following ten numbers. And I'll go over what those numbers are. And the progression is 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, 5, 7, 10, 15, 20. So now I'm going to go over the numbers that he uses. He, he covers, and we're going to use $10 units, so... Um, he covers zero. I'm sorry, one dollar units. He covers zero, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty seven, thirty, thirty two, thirty four. And 36. And again, I'll I'll say what he said about the coverage. He says again, it's called American Quarter Slice because it was designed to cover every fourth pocket on an American Roulette wheel. And he's, again, he says regardless of what section the ball may be favoring, you have a one in four chance of winning. And as always, let me know what you guys think about this system after um, I present this to you. Obviously, it's a it'll be a small sample size so hopefully you can test it out and uh, let me know what you think so now we're going to go ahead and bet so you can see we have a ten dollar bet okay so the second bet's going to be the same so we just rebet because again it goes one one two two to start Okay, so now we're on to the two, the first two, and we're going to rebet that. And in this case, we can double to go to two dollars on each. Now we have twenty dollar bet. Okay, we lost, so we're going to do that one more time. And if we get a win, we're starting back at uh, one, one again. Okay, so we lost 1-1 one, one, and we lost 2-2. Two, two. Now we're on to 4. So actually we are going to double again. And now we have 4 units on each of those 10 numbers for a $40 total bet. Okay, and we finally hit. So now we're going to go back to, and you see we're up $44. We're going to go back to the original $10 bet. Okay, and then we start again. Okay, we lost, so we're on to the second one again. So we just repeat the bet. Okay, now we're on to the two. So we can double here. The only times you can double is when you go from one to two and then two to four. Then after that, you wouldn't be using the double anymore. Okay, we lost there. So we're going to do that again. And we got it. So we'll start back over again. We're at $56. 
and let's go back to the original 10 numbers one dollar on each again it's one one two two four five seven ten fifteen twenty and I'll put those uh, up on the video so that you can write them down and give this a try so we're on our second one now we're at forty six dollars Okay, now we're on to the first two, up 36. So again, the only times you can hit the double is when we go from the one to two or after the second two when we go to the four. Okay, we're gonna rebet that for one more try at uh, two on each. All right, we won. It's fun when you win on zero, isn't it? So now we're up $68. We'll go back to the original 10 numbers. One thing I will say that is, I, I hope he's right about how these numbers are much better choices because anytime you're only covering 10 numbers, uh, I think this progression is 10 long, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Um, if the numbers weren't, better than normal eventually you would definitely bust on this um, but I like what he's doing with um, with the coverage so for those of you that are trying to find certain numbers to bet on this is a good one and um, obviously payback is better when you bet on less numbers so we're up, <coughs> we're up 58 on that last one you can see we lost at the 10 so we'll go one more time with that All right, we got another zero. It's fun winning on the zeros. All right, we're up $84 now. Now we're back to the first uh, single dollar. <coughs> okay, we're on to the second one now. Again, it goes 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, 5, 7, 10, 15, 20. Okay, so now we're on to the two. And again, this is a time when you can use the double. That's a loss on a double zero, though. So on to, we're on to our second uh, $2. And I'll show the balance here in a second. All right, we hit. Now we're up 96 and we start over. Okay, now we're on our second uh, $1. And obviously a system like this would pay off more when you're using an actual uh, wheel with a live dealer instead of using a random number generator all right we got a win there though we're up 112 so we start back over all right we got another one up 138 We lost, so we're on to our second one dollar. Okay, now we're on to two. So we can't hit the double on this one from one to two, even though this isn't really a doubling uh, uh, progression, but and there's a couple places where you can hit double, like one to two and two to four. However, one thing I haven't told you about Gary Bellino's strategy here, he says he walks when he's up $100, and we were up over 100 already. So technically with his system, it would have already succeeded, and he would have walked with his 100 But um, let's keep going. That'd be, that would be too short of a video 
because when you're when you're only playing ten numbers like this, you're either going to lose pretty quickly or you're going to do well quickly. You can see we're back up 150. So at this point, he would have already walked with the money. We're going to go back to 10 because I want you guys to see a larger a larger pool of um, play time so that you can see a little bit more of what can happen. All right, we got another one there though. We're up 176. Just realize that when you are only covering 10 numbers that um, you can lose a lot in a row it, when you do run into some bad luck. But we're having some good luck now. We're up 202. But that's probably why Gary leaves when he's up 100 because when you only play with 10 numbers, eventually you're going to get bit. We got another one there, though. All right, up 228. Okay, now we're on to our second one dollar. All right, we got it. So start back over. We're up two forty four. Okay, now we're on to our first two dollar. Okay, now we're on to our second two dollar. Okay, now we're going from two to four. So this is the last time we can actually do the use the double. Okay, now we're on to our second four. Again, that's four dollars on each of the ten. All right, we got it. So up to fifty-eight. Start back over. Let's go back to the original ten-dollar bet. Okay, we'll do our second one at one dollar. Okay, now we're on to two dollars, so we can again. This is when we can double. Okay, now we're on our second two dollar bet after that loss. Actually, on that one, uh, somehow I did one dollar on that. Let's stay with the progression. That would have been two losses at two dollars each, and it's time to go to four. So make sure that's right. So four dollars on ten of the numbers because we've lost four times. Okay, so we have, now we go from four to five. So now we just need to add one to all of those. And this is what I wanted you to see what happens when you get further in the progression. Because right now we would have five, seven, 10, 15, 20 before we'd bust. Okay, so we lost at five. So now it's time to go to seven. So we would add two more to each of those. And spin. Okay, so we lost again. That's what I wanted you guys to see was what would happen when you have a bad run. Now we're at 10. So we're going to add a 
3 to all of those till we get to 10. There we go. Okay. So this one's at 10, and after, if we lose this, we can go to 15 and then to 20. We hit a 2. Okay. And we lost a 10. So now we go from 10 to 15. You can see we're actually down money uh, temporarily now. Again, I wanted to, that's what I wanted to see is what would happen... I want you to see the good and the bad with every system, if I can, if we have time. And uh, so we'd go from 10 uh, to make sure that last one was 10. Yes, it was 15. And actually, we can add a 5 to each one of those to make them 15. Let's see, we're down $42 actually right now, but let's see if we can get a win. We'll have one more chance after this one. All right, and we hit. So now we're back up 348. So we got close to busting, though. That's all I wanted to let. With every system, I like to let everyone know, number one, any system can fail. And then also that, um, that uh, obviously, the more risk you have, the more money you can make quickly. But then um, that also means that you could lose money um, quicker as well. So um, any system can fail if you... You should always um, be ready to lose anything that you that you put up when you start. But at the same time, you want to have confidence that it's going to work. But uh, know that um, that if it doesn't work out well, that uh, you're okay losing the money that you put up. So I I don't like all these guys on YouTube saying that that they never lose. My goal is to win more than I lose, and I'm not going to tell everyone that I never lose. So. If you can just make consistent profit and win more than you lose, I think that's pretty good. And um, and I see a lot of people out there saying, "Oh, this uh, I never ever lose, and I win every time." And that's not realistic. So you just want to be able to win more than you lose and create a little profit so you can increase your roulette fund. That's what I like to do: is consistently see it go up. And um, I certainly don't make 100000 a month like uh, Christopher Mitchell says or uh, anything like that. I just like to consistently see my roulette fund grow. It is in the, I mean, in the thousands. I usually keep ten to 15000 in my roulette fund and like to keep it growing. Sometimes I take money out of there and uh, use it for other expenses. But... Uh, um, not a lot because I like to just see it getting bigger and bigger. And that way I know if I have a losing session that I'm going to be able to go play again the next day and it's not going to hurt me. So, again, never gamble with anything that you can't lose. But in, uh, I really enjoy playing. That's why um, I have this channel. I just love playing roulette and um, and love seeing new systems every day. So. If you, can, if you have a system that you're using and um, would like to share it with the channel, please send it in. I would love to showcase it on the channel. And um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, please hit that red subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner. That really helps me out. And also ring that bell for notifications uh, because I have new videos all the time. I'd just like you to be able to uh, get notified when they come out. And this is the Roulette Master, and have a great day.